video, we're going to get slapped by changing the head to cups on my sister's Stump Jumper Eva. <laughs> Whoops, the fork disappearing rapidly was not in our plans. We'll take a look at why this happened and how we fixed the issue so it doesn't have to happen to you. But for now, let's get back to the beginning of the project. The Stump Jumper Evo has highly adjustable geometry. In addition to the head tube angle, the bottom bracket height is adjustable between low and high settings. The head tube angle can be slackened or steepened by a degree, which along with the high and low bottom bracket settings gives six different outcomes. In our flip chip video, we discussed the specialized geometry finder tool. Be sure to check out that video for more details about how changing the bottom bracket height and the head tube angle affect the bike's geometry. So now let's take a look at the headset cups on the Evo. Here we're comparing the stock zero offset head cup to the plus one minus one degree cup. The plus one minus one cup is deeper and has straight sides underneath as it is shaped to fit in the channel in the headset. This channel ensures the cup will only fit in two positions and won't rotate when fitted. The cup has etchings to indicate which way to fit it. The etching corresponding to your choice goes at the front of the bike. And the cup's opening is off-center. Placing the fatter parts to the front of the bike makes the fork slacker as it pushes the steerer tube towards the back of the bike. Okay, let's get on with switching out the headset cups. All right, Millie, let's start by taking off the stem cap. And then I'll undo these stem bolts. I'm expecting the fork to fall away. That's why we've got that piece of wood underneath. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go, it's fallen away. So it doesn't go. Yeah. There you go, you don't know this time. Oh, oh, this is the fork. That's the fork, yeah, just hold it like that. Whoa! Okay, there's the cup. The inside of the so bike. So that's the cup we're going to replace. Now we're going to switch the cups. The Evo comes with the plus one, minus one cup stored in the swap compartment. We applied grease to the cup before installing it. We've nicely greased this up and you can see that there's a shape in here that fits this. So we, yeah, we've got straight sides that are going to sit in the head tube. And then we want to take one degree off the head angle. So we're going to pop that in there. And then we're going to put the bearing in. So there's the bearing. Then there's a little washer there at the top. Okay. There's the, uh, the washer there. Or the spacer. Okay, so now we need to put the bar back on. Okay, the approach of hanging the bike in a bike stand with an inch or so of air under the front tire was a bust. The head tube is pretty wide to allow the head tube angle to be changed. When the headset cup is removed, the steerer tube has a large range of movement and if you're not careful, like us, the fork will shoot out the bottom of the head tube. So we tried a few different approaches to see what would work at a trailhead when you would actually want to change the head angle. So our next approach was to wrap a strap under the fork and over the top tube. The strap has an inch of slack to let the fork drop a little, but not too much. This made it easier to wiggle the headset cup and remove it from the top tube. This approach was a big improvement, but unnecessarily inconvenient, so on to our third approach. The key here is to thread a bungee strap through the front wheel and around the down tube, while keeping the front wheel and the rear wheel on the ground. This stops the fork sliding down and forward, and can be easily performed without a bike work stand. Straddling the bike to free up your hands makes this very straightforward. So let's install the spacers and stem top cap, and get back to our main clip. So this bolt, what it does is it actually pulls the fork up. Pre-tensions it. Is it just kind of pulling up now? It's closing that gap. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You don't want this too tight. As soon as this stuff, you can't spin it anymore, and that feels good. And then we'll stop doing that, and then we're going to re-tighten the bolts here. I'll do my side. Let's make sure we got it straight. We're going to torque this one and this one to 8 newton meters. Put it by the end of the handle. Now pull it this way until it clicks. There you go. Okay. Do this one. Put it back down. There you go. Perfect. All done. Give me a high five. 
Millie hasn't spent a lot of time on the bike to evaluate any change. It likely takes a more experienced rider to really tell the difference. And now we're going to leave the head tube in its slackest setting, as Millie is more interested in bike parks than riding cross country. If that changes in the future, it's a very easy exercise to flip it back. Remember to give us a thumbs up and please consider subscribing. Thank you for watching Dizzy Does Downhill. Make sure to subscribe, put some comments down below and like it.